Hello my beautiful chameleons and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm super excited because I am trying the Unearthly Cosmetics Don't Be Jelly 2 palette. Oh my god, this packaging guys. I mean seriously, this is a box. Opens like this. We've got the layer of foam and then the palette is sat in the box like that. So I take the palette out. I mean, this is a box you can repurpose. I love it. And it's got the jellyfish all over. It's so freaking cute. So it comes in a box with the same design on. Slide that out and I'll pop the box away. Okay, let's take that sheet out. I don't and oh my god guys this is the color story i mean hello how freaking gorgeous is that and i'm pretty sure you could see some of the shifts just absolutely stunning um so yeah i need to decide what i'm going to do Oh my word. I love the names of these shades. We've got Salty, Sea Space, Sea Urchin, Hydro Space, Sea Star, Brine, Lagoon, Aquatic, Luminescence, Coral, Jellyfish and Sea Foam. I'm going to swatch the... I think I'm just going to swatch the whole thing on the back of my hand just so that I can see what colours look like. So first up, Oh my god, I did not want to rub out those shades. Is salty and ooh, hello. Hello. That is beautiful. Okay. And then we have I'm so glad I took photos. Um, this is Sea Space. Ooh. Okay. Sea space, look at that. that blue, and that blue catches the light. Oh my god! Um, then we have a mat which is sea urchin. Oh, this is this is nice. So there's sea urchin. And then we have, I think this is one of the ones I most, oh, holy cow. Right, this is, I think, the one I'm most excited to try. Oh, wow. So this is Hydro Space. Oh, my word. Are you seeing? Am I actually catching anything from that? It's like pink, green. That is so gonna catch it better on my foot yeah look at that how stunning is that oh my god and then we have a mat which is sea star and i'm gonna pop that make a little a new little row and there's sea star absolutely gorgeous purple and then oh god another Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is brine. That is gorgeous. Okay. The more I'm swatching, the more excited I'm getting to use this. And then we have Lagoon, which is a blue matte. Oh my God, look at that. That has just swatched perfectly Ooh. okay and now we have aquatic oh wow aquatic is oh, absolutely stunning look at that Ooh. god guys so it's like blue pink sea foamy green hair on my lip um wow yeah blue pink sea foamy green i'm loving the look of that then we have luminescence which at the angle i'm looking at it now looks completely different oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh wow. This, the shifts in this are just holy I don't know how many of the shifts you are going to see on the camera, but oh my god. Okay, so I think that's definitely, my, I can see purple, gold, green, blue. Okay. Okay. Excited. And then we have coral, which is a matte. I mean, these mats feel lovely. Obviously, it's the uh, it's the shimmers, the sparkles, the shifty shades I'm most excited about. But there we have coral, which looks absolutely stunning. The last of the shifty shades is jellyfish. Oh wow, look at that. So this is like purple peach. Purple peach pink. It's like goldy. Wow. Wow. I think even on camera you're getting a lot of these shifts. And then last but not least, we have sea foam, which is a matte and it is an absolutely stunning green matte. So pardon the absolutely <laughs> crappy swatches, but oh my word. Wow. Wow. Okay, now I need to decide what it is I want to do. And I 100% want to use luminescence. Holy crap. That is just wow. Just wow. I think, oh my word. Okay, well, I'm going to wipe these off, have a think, and then we'll make a start. Okay, so my eyes are primed with the P. Louise base in Rumor 02 and I am first going into Sea Urchin. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And let's get the hair off the brush. And I'm going to pop that right in this outer area here. That is stunning. That is stunning. Oh, look at that pigment. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. I'm just going to bring it just into my crease. Not too high up, but High enough, high enough to show over my hooded eyelid. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade, like an aubergine, or what's it you call it in America? Eggplant? That's right, isn't it? Aubergine, eggplant. Um, yeah, that kind of colour. And it's stunning. Oh, hello. I'm just going to buff the edges just a little bit, just so that it's easier to blend on the next shade. And it is blending itself nicely. Oh. That stunning. Ooh, okay, so let's next. I'm loving the look of this. Next, I'm going into Sea Star Purple Matte. 
also pretty. There is a fair bit of kick up, but I don't mind that at all. Crikey, these are just blending themselves together. Just to make it a lot easier. Super pigmented. I'm not surprised, but <laughs> I'm always happy. That's such a nice purple. I'm not getting any patchiness. It's looking really nice. I have to go back in, I think, with that aubergine because oh, I don't know. Too pretty. Really pretty. Looking good. Yeah, I like that. That looks really nice. I am just going to nip back into just the brush I used for the first shade sea urchin i'm just gonna go in and just buff that a little bit okay okay so now i want to go into lagoon the blue mats this looks so pretty again there is a fair bit of kick up but i don't mind that at all and i'm just gonna Softly take that round the edge. Ooh. Okay. This one's got a really decent amount of pigment too. Yeah, just gonna take that. I'm not packing it, I am just using this to blend but it is looking stunning. I have zero complaints whatsoever so far. This is beautiful. I am trying to use as many of the as many of the shades as I can just just to really kind of see what we have what it can do this is so beautiful and it is performing just amazing they practically blend themselves together these shades Stunning. If you can see a mark there, that's my eye, not the shadow. I'm having some issues with my skin at the moment. So I'm really blowing this shade out and it is gorgeous. Look at that. That blend is Stunning. And I'm just going to go back into the purple sea star. I just want to make sure that I haven't lost that with these two shades. Wow. And back into Lagoon, the blues. I'm just going to make sure. I still really showing. I have no complaints. This is gorgeous. Okay, so 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to. So I'm going to go into sea foam, the green mat. We really are fitting as many of these on as possible to those in the start here. Ooh. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, these shades just look absolutely stunning together. I'm going to take that all the way around the edge. Yeah. Wise choice, Steph. I'm happy with that. Wow. That is beautiful. God, can you see the blend there? That is just effortless. Absolutely effortless. Yeah, I'm really blowing it out. right up to the brow okay that is that is stunning and then just back into the aubergine shade sea urchin yep I got that right <laughs> that is looking so beautiful okay so I think For the outer part of my lid, I'm going to go into C space. I just love the look of all of these. I can't wait to see what they look like. Oh, look at that. This is with no glitter primer, no spraying, because I like to see what they perform like just on their own first. Yeah, that is stunning. That is stunning. Look at that. See, I'm seeing more kind of a sea foamy green to purple. A little bit blue. Look at that. That is stunning. Beautiful. And now the one I've been most excited for. I'm going into luminescence. Oh my god. This shade is just something else something else just look at that wow wow what shades can you see Really dragging that over, and they just melted together, nice and easy. Okay. Wow. This shade's something else, seriously. I think just as a shimmer shade, this has to be one of my favourite that I have tried in a long time. This is so beautiful. I don't know how much of the shifts are going to pick up on camera, but I'm really hoping 
and that you can see the true beauty of this because that is something else. I will just quickly go over to the other shade, the um, sea space. I'm not adding any more on the brush, I'm just tapping over that line a little bit. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Okay, I'm quickly going to dip into Sea Urchin, the aubergine matte, just to just go around that very outer V, just to make sure we still have that depth there. This is just, wow. I might be a little bit in love with these shades together. It's like magic. Magic has happened on my eyes and I am loving it, absolutely loving it. Okay, I'm going to nip off and put my base on. I will come back to do the lower lash line with you, so just stay where you are. Okay, so base on, I'm now going into Sea Urchin and I'm obsessed with this look, obsessed, and I'm taking that on the outer part here under, under my eye and just connecting it, connecting it to the, the top colours as well. Oh, that's such a beautiful shade. I just can't stop looking at my lid. That shade, Luminescence, wow. I am head over heels in love with that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to go into Lagoon. I'm just going to kind of keep the mattes very similar to the upper lid. I'm just going to try and keep this as close to the sea urchin shade as possible. I don't want to bring the depth too low down under my eyes but I do still want to see all of these shades. Look at that. Okay. And then I'm going to go into sea foam and I'm going to use that to blend the edges out yeah this is beautiful This sea foam shade is such a stunning colour. So I think for my lower lash line, I'm going to first go into, oh, do I want that one or that one? Actually, I think I'm going to go with jellyfish. Yeah, I'm going to go with jellyfish. And I'm going to pop that right at the front there. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. I mean, you're not going to be able to see all the shifts or, or anything on the lower lash line. You should, should be able to a bit. It's just obviously not over a particularly large area but I'm just trying to use as many of these shades as possible 
I've managed to use all but one of the mats. So not bad going. Then for my inner corner. For my inner corner it has to be Hydro Space. It's beautiful. And I think it is going to be... Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, look at that. Wow. Just wow. I think the the pink sea foam green shift on the inner corner it just looks absolutely stunning okay i'm just going to wipe that brush off because i'm going to use the same brush and then i'm going to go into salty for my brow bone highlight we will get as many of these in as possible so i'm just going to pop that glitch just up under my brow there not really getting much limelight, but oh, it's perfect though. Look at that. Okay, I am obsessed. So I am going to nip off and finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first impressions are. Have a chat with you about the new don't be jelly to palette from unearthly cosmetics just another quick look at that look at that so yeah i'm i think you already know what i think of it but if you'd like to see this look finished and hear my thoughts anyway then don't go anywhere okay guys so here is the finished look let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll come a bit closer, hopefully. Hopefully you can see the shift. Or shifts, I should say. Um, so before we have a chat, I'll just let you know a couple of bits I popped on my face. So my eyes, I used the, what are you? I can never remember who it's by. Barry M, the feature length mascara, and for the lashes, um, they are from Meggy Lashes, which is a UK indie brand. I don't know the name of this pair, but I'm, I'm loving them. In my waterline, I have the She Glam Chromazone Gel Liner. It's a multi-chrome liner, and I have it in the shade Zenith. I believe in my waterline um for my blush i used the jolie beauty is it second skin powder blusher in the shade dusty rose it's really reflective packaging but this is the shade of the blush i love it and then for my lips i used the lime crime matte velveteens in the shade moonstone it is one of my absolute favorites um for highlighter i went into the don't be jelly palette and i used the shade salty as my highlight i'm loving it so guys the don't be jelly eyeshadow palette or don't be jelly 2 i i have no words the packaging is absolutely stunning I mean, just look at that. The letters are kind of reflective and, oh, it is so beautiful. The jellyfish are gorgeous. I love it. It's really kind of classy looking, but quirky. I, I love it. The colour story is absolutely gorgeous. I have used all but one of the mattes. The only matte I haven't used is coral. And then shimmers, I used Salty, Sea Space, Hydra Space, uh, Luminescence, and Jellyfish. So Aquatic and Brine are the only shimmers that I didn't use. 
oh my god guys i am obsessed with this palette i mean just look at those shades and i am just loving the look i'm i think this has to be one of my favorite looks that i have done ever i'm loving it um completely obsessed so yeah i don't think i really need to say any more about what my thoughts are on this palette i love it i'm it's definitely my favorite of all the unearthly cosmetics palettes that i've tried it is stunning absolutely stunning yeah super super happy that i have this and yeah loving the look let me know what you guys think if you've liked this please do like the video because that really helps me out if you are new around here if you like colorful makeup you like sport indie brands then yeah come and hang out join my beautiful chameleon family and all that's left to say is thank you so so much for watching spending this time with me today i appreciate you i love you thank you so i hope you're all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye yeah. stepping in the spot like she own it looking like the world is your runway she can set it off like a gun play oh my yeah talk of the city with the body always getting praised like it's sunday she said baby what you gonna do by